we meet again. So the other day, I realized that being short has a lot of disadvantages, but we have a lot of advantages as well. And you know, I feel like all of us always look at the bad sides, but we don't talk about the good parts. Here are some of the things I've experienced that made my life better because of being short. Number one, crowds. Every time you take a group picture, they will always put you in the front. Always. So they get to look at you the most, but if you're not photogenic, well, it sucks for you then. And you're watching a game, which I don't really do because I'm not sporty. Usually they let you go at the front because you can see better. Number two, clothes. 90% of the time, all shops will have your size. And if they don't, you can go to the kid's store. And guess what? They're cheaper, and I've done that before. I can look at my wardrobe and I can still find things that I've worn in fourth grade that still fit me to this day. And this, this is my sister's. She's 25. I feel like everyone's learning like secrets. Number three, you live longer. Science has proven that if your height is above 5'5", five five, you will die more quickly because since you're so tall, your weight kind of pushes on your organs and it like squeezes them to death. But slowly, like some guy can be six foot and their knees be really bad because they have so much weight to be put on. And I'm 5'4". So I'm right below the level. Number, what number am I on? One, two, three. Number four, hide and seek. Look at your friend group and tell me how many of them can fit in lockers. I can fit in a locker. I am the best at hide and seek. I will always win. I can go under my bed at times. I've gone under desk. I've gone inside like safes. Oh, wait, that's like a pretty big safe. But you get my point. You will be excellent at hiding if you're short. Number five. Your house. If you are short, name one time when you said, I can't fit on my bed. I can't fit on this couch. I can't fit on a chair. Never happens. Th this bed, I've been in this bed since I was five. And I'm still inside it today. My chair was my dad's. And now it's mine because I'm the tallest in my family. Shoes, who needs them? You don't grow at all. You have the same size. We save money, guys. Take notes. Number six, trick or treating. If you are really short and you have a baby face, I can swear to you, people will think you're 10. If I really want to go trick-or-treating when I'm 18, I will. But I'm probably going to be at parties. But still, you can abuse that power. You have a right to because you're short. But if you're 50 years old, that's kind of weird. So maybe you shouldn't, okay? Number seven, seat room. If you're in a car, on a bus, on a plane, on a train, oh, that rhymed, you will always have room. I can sleep on a bus. I can sleep on a bus by myself, on a train, on a plane, like anything. And in cars, you never bump your head. You get to see your friends bump their head. Number seven, your significant other. Some people have preferences that they want their boyfriend or girlfriend to be taller than them, and I have that. And the good thing is, 90% of the boys are taller than me. And I remember when I was really little, I worried about being tall because like, oh, I have to be taller than the girl because that's a stereotype. Now that I'm gay, it doesn't matter. Also, short people are gonna be really good at hugging because perfect fit. You know the ones like your chin goes on their shoulder or your head is below their chin? Those are the perfect ones. And lastly, number nine, and I don't have another one because I can't think of one, crowd weaving or swerving through people. At my middle school, we had breezeways, so everyone always went down them and all of them were tall. As a short person, you look three seconds ahead and you plan out how you're going to weave through people and you always get to your class on time. And it's a skill you learn when you go into cities and there's a lot of people there, downtown, finding your friend after like a football game and everyone's going out and getting lost and then you don't know where your parents are and then you cry and you like break down with this. Personal experience, guys. <laughs> so yeah, those are a couple of the perks of being short. And yes, there's disadvantages and that can be another video. But if you enjoyed, give this video a like, leave a comment down below if you're short and tell me your experiences with your height. And subscribe because I post videos every Saturday and now I do daily live streams. Daily. I love you guys and everything is less than three, okay? Okay, okay? Watch, I can make this like really, really bright. Oh. <laughs>